This is Luke McCormack here. You're watching Sport Tonight Comes. Now, hopefully a lot of you remember probably a year or so ago, I did a video where I said that Frank Warren has played a very, very smart game where he's got his fighters into certain positions where at some point, Frank Warren will be coordinating the heavyweight division. Now, as it's turned out, fast forward now, you've got Tyson Fury, WBC World Heavyweight Champion. You've got Joe Joyce, is a WBA mandatory. And you've got Dan Dubois, is a WBA mandatory and WBA regular World Heavyweight Champion. So Frank Warren played his card very, very well. He spotted that weak link in the WBA with Bogdan Dinu, got Dan Dubois in that position ASAP. Joe Joyce has done fantastic, especially his last fight with Joseph Parker, etc., etc. Now, of course, Fury, he's going to be taking on Alexander Usyk. So that's undisputed, which is a fight that Eddie Hearn has always wanted to do, have an undisputed fight in the heavyweight division. Frank Warren's got that now, okay, against Alexander Usyk. So for Frank Warren, obviously, it means he wants Tyson Fury to obviously defeat Usyk, become undisputed world champion. But worst case scenario... That doesn't happen. Well, next up in line is Frank Warren's other heavyweight, Daniel Dubois. Whether that works out or whether it doesn't work out, then you've got Joe Joyce. Now, the only blip in that little thing there is currently Filip Herkovich, IBF mandatory. So he's between Daniel Dubois and Joe Joyce. Okay. So I was watching uh, Ring IQ on a latest live stream of his. I didn't watch it live. Um, or well, I watched like, like like the first twenty minutes live, but then I watched like uh, like uh, the catch up like the next morning, and one of the subjects that they were speaking about was who's running the heavyweight division. There was a guy on there, and he's saying how Frank Warren runs the heavyweight division because he's got Tyson Fury, because he's got Joe Joyce and Daniel Dubois in very strong positions. Therefore, they run the heavyweight division, and of course, the counter argument to that one was well but they all want to see AJ. And that's true. Both arguments are correct. Okay? Because to run the heavyweight division or, or any division doesn't mean you have to have a world title. Not at all. Because there's a reason why the WBC world heavyweight champion Tyson Fury keeps mention, mentioning Anthony Joshua. There's a reason why Daniel Dubois mentions Anthony Joshua, even though he's the WBA regular champion, right? you got Joe Joyce, he mentions Anthony Joshua. None of them mention any other fighters. They don't mention Wilder. They don't mention um, um, Andy Reese Jr. or Makhmadov. Right? They mention Anthony Joshua. Why? Because if you want a payday, you've got to go see AJ. So in that sense, whether you like Anthony Joshua, whether you don't, whether you rate Anthony Joshua as a good fighter or you don't, whatever your feelings towards Anthony Joshua, you have to know that Anthony Joshua is and will always be the cash cow in the heavyweight division. For as long as he's an active fighter, that's what he's going to be. It's not about whether or not he's the number one, the number two, the number five, the number 10, the number 20 in the, in the heavyweight division rankings. It doesn't matter. Fact is, you want that payday, you've got to go see AJ. That's exactly what it is. And that's, and that's the reality of it. That's the truth. That's why... And again, I do believe, I don't know this for a fact, I'm just speculating here, that Queensbury get their heavyweights to mention Joshua. That's why. Because he's the payday, okay? Who else is Joe Joyce going to fight that would get more money than an Anthony Joshua fight? Who else is Darren Dubois going to fight that's going to get more money than an Anthony Joshua fight? Who else is going to get more money for Tyson Fury other than an Anthony Joshua fight? And don't kid yourselves thinking that him fighting Usyk is going to get him more money than what he would fight Joshua. No, it wouldn't. For sure, it wouldn't. So there's a reason why they mention Anthony Joshua. And I do believe Queensbury tell them to mention Anthony Joshua because they want the payday. Now, power move. People, people talk about power moves. Again, as per Ring RQ's video there, um, I mean, his live stream, his live debate, was that saying, but... If Joe Joyce become WBO World Heavyweight Champion, for example, he would be in the power position over Anthony Joshua. Anthony Joshua would be the B-side. Now, there is a valid point to that, because obviously if Anthony Joshua wants that WBO strap, and currently Joe Joyce may have it at that time, then yes, Joshua, 
will have to reach out to Joe Choice to get that title. Unless, of course, he's mandatory, then, of course, we're talking about purse bids and all that kind of stuff. But ultimately, Anthony Joshua is still in the power move because he's the one who's holding the money. He's the one who's going to give that big payday to Joe Joyce. Whether Joe Joyce has got that world title or not will be irrelevant. Joshua is not going to leave the zone to go into BT Sport. He's not going to go to Joe Joyce's playground. He, that ain't going to happen. Anthony Joshua could turn around to Joe Joyce or Dan Dubois and go, OK, then you go defend that belt against somebody else. If you can make more money than what I can offer you, good luck to you. But you ain't going to. So if you want the kind of money that I'm going to pay you, then you need to come over to me. That is the power. That's why Anthea Joshua will remain top dog in the heavyweight division. Because it's prize fighting. They all want the money. That's what it's about. It's about the money. Having titles is nice and putting them in the cabinet and walking around with it over your shoulders and doing some interviews. That's all very nice. That's all very well good. And yes, of course, it, that adds to your legacy, right? But that isn't putting food in your, um, in your cupboards. That's not setting up generational wealth. What sets up generational wealth is he's going to see Anthony Joshua. That's why, if you look at like, like the lower weight division, for example, Canelo. Canelo doesn't have to be champion. But champions will want to fight Canelo because he's the payday. It's all about the money. So when you say who runs the heavyweight division, Anthony Joshua runs the heavyweight division. Others can give good paydays, like Tyson Fury can give a good payday, of course. But not the kind of payday that Anthony Joshua would give. That's just the reality of it. So yes, I think Anthony Joshua, he does run the heavyweight division from one standpoint. But of course, if he wants those world titles, he has to go negotiate with other people. And if it comes to a position where he's mandatory and all that kind of stuff, yes, there's a very real chance that he will have to take the B-side money, even though he's the one generating the money, if that makes sense. Much like he did when he fought Charles Martin. Fought Charles Martin, he had to be the B-side, because Charles Martin had the belt. Paid Charles Martin, was it seven million or something? While Joshua made uh, not even a million, I think. But anyway, that's my thoughts on it. You drop me yours, click on the subscribe, catch you on the next video.